uh, my right arm hurts from probably overactivity. Uh, I helped a friend build a fence and put in his yard for his pool, and for about a month, the arm's been very sore, very numb. The pain's been very constant. It's um, every day. Um, I feel like I have very little strength in my my uh, arm and wrist. So. With ultrasound right now, we're going to see the common extensor tendons. So the patient's been having lateral elbow pain for quite some time, <clears throat> especially after after doing a lot of wrist flexion extensions. And with ultrasound, we're actually we're able to trace down the tendons all the way to the attachment of the lateral epicondyle. And right around there, we start to notice that there is a little of area of irregularity right where the tendon attaches. I'm going to try to make that image a little bit clearer. Right around there where the arrow is, is where we have area of partial tearing with tendinopathy. <clears throat> the tendon is supposed to be a nice fibular structure that goes in and attaches into the bony structure of the lateral condyle. And there it looks normal. Now I'm going to move right on top of where the, the tear is at and we start to notice right around there that black loss of heterogeneity of the tendon which is consistent with tendinopathy and partial tear. <clears throat> so what we're going to proceed with doing next, we're going to bathe that tear in that tendon that is tendinopathic with leukocyte rich PRP. Right in there. A little bit of pressure, 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 pressure. Beautiful. As you see the distension of the tear, again it confirms it. How are you doing? Good. Not bad. Good top man. I'm gonna put down, drive it all the way up there and try to bathe the whole area. A little bit more on top now. Perfect, 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 perfect. Tells you the platelets yep. going in. Going in. If we see how it's, it's extending the tear. Alright, my man. How about was that? Not bad at all. The screenshot of that associated tear with a tendonitis. We can clearly see the defect of the tendon. Now, if we want this treatment to work, we have to be able to put these cells inside of the tendon tear. As you saw in the prior video, here's a zoomed in shot of that deployment of these regenerative cells that are rich in growth factors that are going to heal the tendon from the inside in.